What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Just a Guy Having Fun. Anyway, we're out here out on so-called range. <clears throat> Rock Island Armor, Rock Island Armory, 10 millimeter. Sorry, it's a little cold today. It's 22 degrees this morning. Can't really talk. Anyway, here's the Rock Island Ultra, no, Tech Ultra, uh, 10 millimeter. It's got the full full length dust cover, full length uh, pick rail. It's a five inch barrel. I did change out the grips just because of the color. It came with the black gray grips. These are the orange, got them off Amazon. I like the orange and black combination a little better. I don't really like these stainless screws. I need to put the black screws in that way it's black and orange all throughout. Anyway, we're out at the range today shooting this Fiocchi ammunition right here you see i've already got a couple of rounds through the pipe so this is now the second outing i've done with this gun and the first outing i shot a uh, one box of 50 of the same ammunition and my last 10 rounds probably the last round of the mag was having problems feeding so i took the gun to the house gave it a thorough cleaning thoroughly lubed it now i'm back out here and you see i've got three mags i've got one mag here it's open it's empty we're empty these are two ed brown mags this is the factory mag i just shot this factory mag and i'm having issues but I, just a second ago i was shooting this ed brown mag and i'm having issues so i don't think it's the mag i think it's the ammo and here's why i say it's the ammo because if you see this ammo it's a flat tip even though they're full metal jackets they're flat tip and I kept this around just so I could show y'all. I had a good primer strike, if you see that, and it did not fire. So I set it on the truck bed. It's been sitting there for probably 10 minutes. I loaded it up again just to see if it would go bang if I tried it again. So now I've got two good primer strikes on this round and nothing. That happened to me uh, last time I brought it out with a different box of ammo. So I think this ammo is really having issues uh, because the last box I had, I had the same issue with this. Good primer strikes would not fire. And I did buy this ammo, golly, so it was probably a few months ago. So it is still, I guess, during the pandemic and I guess people are still shorthanded labor. People are pumping out ammo as fast as possible, which we appreciate because we want ammo to shoot. But quality control, Fiocchi, I've never had issues with Fiocchi ammo. I've, I've considered it pretty good ammo myself. Others may have difference of opinion to each their own. But anyway, I just wanted to give you all an update on the Rock Island Armory TAC Ultra 10 millimeter. Uh, full slide, I think is what they call it. Single stack shooting this Fiocchi. So all I want to do is I want to get this on camera. I have no idea how far away my gong is there, but that is a 10 inch gong. And you see, I got a couple of rounds on it. And I'm just going to uh, do a little bit of plinking here. I've already got two, lo two mags loaded up and I'll kind of give you all a rundown of what I'm going through, see if we can get some of these issues on camera. Other than that, it's just me out here having fun shooting a uh, 10 millimeter. So let's go ahead and get loaded up and rock out and see if we have any more issues on camera. Help to get the empty one out. It's real, it feels like it's hanging up that first round going into the pipe. It feels like it's hanging up. But anyway, let's see if we can get this going. I hope I'm in, I hope I'm in uh, the video. Hey, looky there. We've got a hang up. And that was the last round. I 
There is no primer strike, it just got hung up. So let's go ahead and slow that up. Let's try that again, because that's all it did is it got hung up. Feels greedy going in. And we're empty. Okay, so you saw that. Got hung up on the last round with an Ed Brown mag. So let's go with another Ed Brown mag. Loaded with eight rounds. Let's give it a go. Last round. Again, got hung up on the last round on an Ed Brown mag. Last round. No primer strike or anything. Let's go ahead and load that up and give that one more try. Got hung up again. Ed Brown mag. Let's put it in the factory mag. Let's see what that does. Feels greedy going in with the factory mag. Good shot. And we're empty. So let's go ahead and load up eight. And guys, I don't know how to edit. So if y'all want to fast forward to me loading, I'm going to load this up with eight and get to the next shooting. Got to open another box. I use these uh, loading tools. They're uh, whatever that brand is. I don't know. Anyway. Got a cool little lion on them. They come in really handy. You just put them in and it pushes the round down so you can put the next round in. Saves the thumbs. Tell you what, I actually lost count. Let's just go with that. Can't count. Anyway, factory mag. We're empty. Let's go ahead and see how this factory mag does. I'm going to say we're 12 to 15 yards. Man, it feels gritty going in there on that feed ramp. And it was freshly cleaned, freshly lubed. I mean, I lubed the shit out of that feed ramp, too. <laughs> Second round. We got a primer strike. So I'll go ahead and I'll set that aside. Let's go to the next... Next round. <laughs> Click. We got another primer strike. So that's two with primer strikes. Last round, get these out of the way. So that's three now with primer strikes. 
One, two, three. Primer strikes. They're still loaded. This one had the double primer strike. I don't know what to say about that. So anyway, that's shooting this ammo. Rock Island Armory. I love the gun. It, it feels good. It's nice and heavy. It shoots great. I like the trigger. The trigger's fine. It's a 1911 trigger. Uh, much better than any polymer striker fired trigger. I say that. Okay. It's probably not as good as, you know, your $5,000 guns, but hey, it's a Rock Island, man. Can't go wrong with it. Again, we're about 12 to 15 yards away from the gong. Look at all these I have issues with. Anyway, just a guy out here having fun shooting. Having some issues uh, with the ammo. I'll have to get some different ammo to try out. Maybe I'll have a little better luck. Anyway, have a good day.